Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the new AI agents that are rolling out for Zoho Begin. Uh, Begin, of course, is Zoho's kind of lightweight CRM. It is easy to integrate with the primary CRM. So if you're already using that, you can consider turning on that integration and kind of getting the best of both worlds. So let's jump right on into a little sneak peek of what's coming down the pipeline for Zoho Begin. So here we are just on that launch page. Again, these haven't really hit all accounts yet, so be on the lookout. You can head over to bigin.com slash Zia agents to get on the early access list. And I recommend that you do just so that you get these as soon as possible. Really what these are going to be is a handful of AI agents that are pre-designed to accomplish certain tasks. So as you know, you are going to have the ability to create your own agents, but Zoho is going to release a bunch of pre-built ones that you can either use as a reference point to create your own or just use them as is because, you know, ideally they'll be pretty darn good. So these things are really designed to like replace certain roles or jobs that your team might be doing right now that an AI can assist them to do. I do want to be clear, none of these are really at the level of replacing an employee, really just specific tasks or actions to make them more efficient. Looking at the ones that are going to be rolling out here first, first is going to be a reply assistant. Basically, what this is going to do is live inside of Biggin and either pre-write emails for you or just respond to them directly if they come in from certain email addresses. So like here we can see if they're emailing support at they're going to get an instant reply from the AI tool. If they just emailed you directly, right? Not quite so much, right? So if they're emailing Tyler, they're going to get a response from me. But we can set up dedicated inboxes that can kind of handle some of that stuff on its own. Now, again, whenever you're having an AI tool do any communication to your client, I always recommend test this really heavily. Make sure that you've created like a prompt and a knowledge base that's really comprehensive so that ideally it will actually be able to help. I will be interested to see with the reply assistant, if there's some tool involved that like, if it's not sure, maybe it's going to let somebody know and not just like guess at how it should respond to something really cool for stuff like this, right? Hey, I'm unable to log in. I need to reset my password. I'm having this type of issue. And maybe it's a common issue with a certain product. It can do a lot of this level one type of support and response for you automatically. Before I jump into the next round of bots, I do want to ask if you're finding this useful so far, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment as we go with which ones of these you're most excited to try out. And if you'd like some help installing any of these or working on Zoho in general, just head on over to Zanata.com and click on book a meeting. On to this next one here, Cross Cell Genie. This is a really cool one. I think probably out of the ones that are releasing for V1 here, this is the one I'm most excited about. What this is doing is essentially saying, hey, inside of your CRM, inside of Biggin, you have this massive database of customers and everything that they've purchased right? Inside of that deal and big in, you have quoted items. And then if you win a deal, the system knows, hey, they bought these handful of items together. So what this is doing is saying, when you win a deal, it's going to look at the database of information that it has available to it, which is all of those closed one deals and the products and services. And then it's going to look for potential cross sell or upsell opportunities. One thing I really like about this one is that you can have it either send them to the customer or to the sales rep. To me, something like this should come from a human, personal preference. You could try out having it go automatically, but I bet you your close rate's better if a human kind of touches up the language just because they're going to know certain context that maybe was on a phone call or a meeting that the bot just doesn't have access to. But this is one of those things that is difficult to do, right? Which types of products sell well together, right? Which ones are common upsells? And you might think, oh, it's really obvious, right? You know, it's a no brainer. It's not always a no-brainer. There's a famous story in the world of grocery sales that two of the strongest correlated items this was a study, I think, done by Walmart a million years ago. One of the most commonly co-sold items with diapers is beer. And so strategically, if you have a grocery store, you might put those on opposite sides to get somebody to walk the whole thing and like see more potential products. So you probably have a set of items that you know are good cross-sell items. There's probably even more that you don't know about. But if an AI tool is coming in, no bias, is just looking at product associations, it might find certain things that are just super non-obvious to you. Last one here that's going to come out of the box is a churn analyzer. Again, this is a really good one. 
So it's basically going to be looking at deals that you lost and trying to figure out why. Was there something in an email? Were we not responsive enough? Was it just too expensive for them? And can we look at certain correlations between the type of deal and why we're losing it to learn more about what we can do in the future? Again, this is an internal bot. So it's going to then send its findings to the sales rep or their managers directly. So again, here we have kind of an example like, hey, there's just a mismatch here between what they need and what our features are. Here's some of the features that we might need in the future, right? So really interesting. This is something where, especially if you're working in like a high volume type of space, it's really hard to actually keep track of why deals are getting lost and even why they're getting won, to be honest with you. Like things move really quickly, especially if you have a large team. This data is not always super obvious and apparent without having to go through and like read all the emails, get all the context. So really interested in this one. I think a long-term benefit that this would have, especially in terms of the Zoho ecosystem, is if you were doing things with Zoho Voice and Zoho Meeting, maybe those transcripts are available and it can even be listening in on a call to go like, hey, the way you answered this question seemed like it really put them off because they were clearly less interested for the rest of that phone call. Now, as we get into actually how to turn these on, I mean, it's pr pretty quick and easy. We've played with this a bit. We have some videos on the channel already. You'll essentially choose the agent, turn it on, specify some of the actions, right? So this would be like the, do I want this to send recommendations to the customer or do I want them to send recommendations to me and then I'll take action, right? Those types of things are gonna be in that configuration phase. And then lastly, let it run, right? I do, <laughs> I'll put one asterisk on sit back. I would say sit forward and watch it, right? Because again, these things are gonna take fine tuning. You're gonna have to make adjustments to them and you're gonna have to tweak them over time because these AI tools have a tendency to drift a little bit and get a little creative on, on kind of what they're doing and the interpretation of the tasks that they've been assigned. As long as you keep that in mind, <laughs> they should be pretty quick and easy to set up. Um, now, outside of just these agents that are coming, I do wanna highlight a few other features just in the pipeline here. So uh, we've got a bunch of bots coming for the Zia marketplace. These are going to deploy across many Zoho applications. And then again, check out our channel for our first looks into the Zia Agent Studio, which is like the full builder to do whatever you want with these agents, right? Very early beta right now on that. So some limitations involved. But again, this is a big emphasis point for Zoho. Now, last ones here, there are a bunch more AI agents coming down the pipeline, right? So these first are the first three, but are by no means exclusive to what you're going to see inside of Biggin and really applications across Zoho. So you're going to have AI generated chart and KPI creation. Now, being candid, I have not found an AI reporting tool that I have liked. I personally am very picky about the look and feel and formatting of reports. So this might help you, or it could give you a good starting point, right? And then you go in and make some adjustments to it. But I would temper expectations, at least for me. I have just found that in my life, I'm very picky with this stuff. Uh, record summaries. This is great for managers, right? For a manager, open up a deal to say, hey, give me the lowdown, right? What's going on in this? What, what concerns do they have? Are we keeping up with our responses, right? What's our next steps that we have? Really useful because again, like I manage our sales team. I poke my head in on deals and it does take me some time to get up to speed. And so just that ability to like point and shoot, say, hey, give me a summary. What do I need to know about this deal in our pipeline? And then a bunch of native support for mobile devices, exactly as you'd expect for Biggin, right? Being kind of optimized for the mobile experience. It's going to tie in with things like Gemini Nano, as well as Siri on the Apple side of the house. Couple more features that are available right now. So with Zoho's MCP, that's Master Context Protocol. Essentially what that's gonna be is a predefined tool set for APIs, allowing LLMs to get access to API endpoints. Um, I said this wrong, it's Model Context Protocol. Sorry, buzzed into my head. Model Context Protocol is MCP. Essentially, you're gonna be able to hook in a different LLM. Here they're showing like Claude. Same thing would be like for ChatGPT to give it access to certain endpoints so that when you're doing something like, hey, how many close one deals do I have? Give me some insights into those. It'll actually know, hey, I can do a search records on the stage closed one, right? It kind of gives it some of that baseline knowledge about an application. And then 
With Galaxy AI and Apple Intelligence, you'll have the ability natively inside of the mobile application to use AI to rephrase, summarize, tweak the tone on anything that you are writing and sending. Again, these two down here at the bottom are available right now, right? So you could go and turn those on as we speak and start getting the value from them. With that, that's our rundown here of what's coming down the pipeline for Biggin. Again, just head on over to biggin.com slash Zia Agents. We'll have a link in the description below. Get access to this. You might as well if you're using Biggin, even if you just turn on one of them and kind of play around with it. Um, I would advise you to start getting your hands on these things earlier than later. Keep in mind, all of this, we're in like first and second inning when it comes to agents here to use a sports metaphor. I don't really like baseball that much, but it felt fitting. You're going to find little odds and ends in these that don't work perfectly. That's kind of to be expected, but see if there are ones that can save you time so that you start getting used to playing with them, right? This is something that we internally at Zanata are doing right now, which is like, hey, we got to stay up on this stuff. So last year was all about figuring out how to use the more chat interface type LLMs to get value from those. And now that we're getting these agents coming to market, well, we got to stay up on those too. And I recommend that you do the same thing because you're going to find a lot of opportunities to save time, money, and effort. And that's really what it's all about. So with that, we'll wrap up here for today. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe down below. That really helps us out totally free for you. Leave a comment with any questions or kind of what you're excited about coming down the pipeline here and head on over to zanada.com and click on book a meeting if you'd like some help with your Zoho installation. My name is Tyler Colt and I will see you next time.